Okay. So... I want to go back in here, too, and see if we could maybe... Something bow, something that... There's no, like, guard, right? You can talk to? Something sweet? Now is not a good time to speak. Oh, right, yeah, I'll talk to you later. Let's do some fights. Hey! I want to hear that you're ready for your next fight! Oh, I am ready for my next what fight. What do you need? I'll tell you exactly what I need. Tell me about my next fight. Now that you have qualified for the Browns Division, your challenges will be more difficult, but you'll earn greater rewards. Good, that's just the way I like it. I want the very abacuses of heaven to rattle with the name Raging Dragon. So I've prepared something memorable. Good, what do you got? What do you got? The guards rounded up a group of subhuman things around the Great Southern Forest. We're going to release them into the ring in groups for you. Oh, the cannibals. Okay. Are you ready to get started? My friend, I've killed like hundreds of thousands of them. Let's go. Excellent. Follow me and we'll get you ready for your next match. Sounds easy enough. All right. I'm going to want to roll. These monsters crave the flesh of man. Oh, I don't want Storm Dragon. I want this. I want the staff. Alright. Ah. Oh, oh, he hit me with Tempest. He hit me with Tempest. Ooh, ooh, I'm diseased. That's not good. I don't like being diseased. Alright, we gotta good, do some crowd control there. Focus him down with this staff a little bit. Aha, uh -huh, you missed. Oh, get out of here, you filthy cannibal. Do a little leaping tiger action. Backflip a little. Heavenly wave. A little slow action on him. But I really wanted to pull out. Where is it? Eight is longsword? There we go. I want the longsword. Because it's just stronger than the staff. That's just because we have more points in it. Although, the long, the swords are just stronger than the staff in general. That wasn't so hard. That was pretty easy. That was a good start to the bronze division. Those beasts are far stronger than they look. I bet they are. Okay. We're good for now. Do not be gone too long. Come yep, I'm sure. Alright, so it does heal me every time. I forgot if it healed me every time. That's why I was checking. I want to hear that you're ready. What? I am ready. Tell me about it. Next, you're going to step into what we call the Pit of Pain. It's not the most original name, I'll admit, but that's 500 years of tradition for you. Really? The arena floor will be set up with ancient magical devices. They will attempt to fry you to a crisp, much to the crowd's delight. Okay, okay. Your job is to stay on your feet for the course of the match while they fling deadly projectiles your way. I'd suggest dodging, but that's just me. All right. Sounds easy enough. Are you ready to get started? Uh, yes I am. Let's begin. Excellent. Follow me and we'll get you ready for your next match. Sounds good, my friend. The Pit of Pain. Only the quick survive its fiery embrace. Ooh. Okay. Right. So all we gotta do is really just dodge everything. It's not that hard. And we gotta just wear out the timer. Whoa, hello. So you have to forgive me if I don't talk all that much. I'm trying to be concentrated here. So far we haven't get hit once. We're doing good. We're doing good. Whoa! Paralyzed. That's not good. Get out. Get out. Quick, quick, quick. Oh no! Oh, oh god, we're getting juggled like it's ticking! Oh! We're doing good! We're doing good! Oh! Keep on it! We did it! Ooh, that was rough. We were doing really good until we got paralyzed. Fantastic! 
A test of speed passed with exceptional celery. Now I've... Um... Your sudden and polite silences are always appreciated, Kui. Oh, hello, sir. I have a message for Raging Dragon. Yes, that's me. Kylon the Serpent has, as promised, been watching you intently. You have impressed him so far, and he is interested to see how you fare in your next match. Really? The Serpent foresees your victory in the next match, and he has backed his prediction with silver. He sincerely hopes that his faith in your skills was not misplaced. Oh, okay, okay. That is all. If you will excuse me, I have some people who need to be spoken to. Ha! Ah, well, I'm certain that won't be a problem for you. Did you have a question for me? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, tell me about the next fight. Ah, uh, yes, your next fight. Uh, there's been a bit of a change in plans. Not that it will affect you too much, of course. It's all part of the traditions of the arena, you see. Okay. I have word that you're going to be facing a fighter specially chosen from the guild, you see. As soon as you're ready, you'll be facing him instead of a normal match. Sounds good to me. Uh, who did you originally see as my opponent? I was originally thinking that you'd done well enough to face Crimson Kana for the Bronze Division Championship. Things change when the guild is involved, though. I'm sure it does. Alright. Very well, I'll deal with this guild thug. I'm certain it will be a small thing. Best to just finish it now. Hmm. Are you ready to get started? Queen, I'm always ready. Let's begin. Excellent. Follow me and we'll get you ready for your next match. Sounds swanky. Oh, this dude? Oh, please. He doesn't stand a chance. Many of you are asking yourselves why the serpent would return to the ring. Am I not retired? Yes. But does that mean I do not care about your entertainment? No! Uh huh. You've all seen the fury and the intense focus of Raging Dragon in the ring. Now, it's time to put these abilities to the test! I don't like what you're implying here, man. And so, the serpent gives you a real spectacle. Have your silver handy to place your wagers. I give you evil and Terra incarnate. What? Oh, a toad demon? Oh, that's easy. That's it? That's that's the big challenge here? Well, I learned a little secret from a uh Outlander of sorts. Hold still, Mr. Toad Demon. There we go. Oh, oh god. Oh god, ow, 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 ow. Okay, alright, we're a little too slow on that. There we go. Uh, yeah, let's do a little legendary strike here. Huh. Ah, damn it. Ho ho! I'm over here, Toad Demon. Ooh, ooh, okay, okay. I see how it is, I see how it is. Now you're immune to magic, if I remember correctly. But I'm on the other side of you! Oh, he hit me hard still. This is a tanky Toad Demon. Usually not this... They usually don't live this long. All right, we gotta use some of this. I think our best option here. It's a little Mirabelle action. One more shot should do it. We gotta cancel that. Boom, there you go. That was an exceptional fight. I haven't seen demons in the ring before. Hmm, hmm. It was a little tough, you know? Why wasn't I warned about that? For the surprise! You didn't know what was coming and the crowd could sense that! It added drama! 
They almost got me killed. You were never in any real danger, but now the crowd knows you're no average warrior. Yeah, but see, Queen, I'm trying to do this all I'm without losing. I'm convinced that you deserve a shot at Crimson Kana. Your victory has sealed the deal. Good, I'm glad. That reminds me, I was asked to instruct you to talk with Lucky Cho before your next match. All right, all right. Uh, what did he want to talk about? He didn't say, and when I asked, he gave me that glare of his. Oh, that filthy glare. Go, speak with him now. The sooner you do, the sooner I can return you to the ring. Okay. I'm going to save. Just because I like to save. Let's go talk to Lucky Cho. Where is Lucky Cho? I thought he was down here. Joseph. Joseph? No? Lucky Cho. Lucky Cho. Where are you, Cho? I thought he was down here, but I guess not. Oh, don't tell me these doors are... Wow. Really? Hey. You have no reason to be here. Go on. But I do. Don't stare at me. Oh, I Go can't... Go on, don't bother. I can't get in? What? No, I don't want to talk to you, Whirlwind. Um, I was hoping maybe they would. So that's that sucks. I had to. I guess I had to do the bronze division to get through here, huh? And because the judge is in this room, that sucks. Oh well. Go on, don't bother. I was hoping they would let me in. Happy ending to Curtisan. Hello. Aren't you a sight? I am. Happy endings, famed courtesan, and it is a pleasure to greet you. Mm-hmm, it's a pleasure to greet you, too. Especially such a fine figure of a man. So many men are made soft by city life. Mm. Well, maybe I can show you You're just... You're talking to the hey, wrong hey, lady, hey. Master. That's the waitress over there. You know, the one with the wine? Whirlwind. Whirlwind. I would love the mood. to chat with you and learn more about you, but alas... I can't. Oh, why not? I'm on exclusive retainer with the proprietor of this place, and he does get so jealous. Farewell, gorgeous. Oh, but happy endings. I would love for a chance to show you how not soft from city life I am. Sweet Poison Lin. Hello. I don't know you, but you're in here, so I know you're not common street trash. I hope for your sake that you have enough silver to warrant my time. Oh, I do. I totally do. All right. Uh, I have enough to keep your interest. You're not half bad for a man. You're in my good books as long as you have the silver to stay there. Thank you. Sweet Poison Lin's my name, and I trade in rarities of a magical nature. I guarantee I have something you need. Do you now? Show me what you have to sell. Magical enhancements and knowledge. Have a look at my wares and see for yourself. Okay. So, we can buy Thousand Cuts from her. Oh my god, it's so expensive. Wow. Oof. Alright, well, we gotta buy it. I said I'd show it off. So we bought a Thousand Cuts. Let's talk to Cho. Before you face Kana, I'd like to present you with a mutually beneficial arrangement. Yeah, and what's that? Okay. Who else is benefiting from this arrangement? Fortunately for you, my employer, Kai Lan the Serpent, has a vested interest in your success against Kana. Does he now? This is Sweet Poison Lin, a master of the toxic in arts. Oh, hence the name. Lin, this is Raging Dragon, the fighter we discussed. Your introductions are unnecessary, Cho. I know this one personally. I trust you'll consider this discussion private and potentially very beneficial. Oh, yeah, sure. Hmm. Go ahead and tell me what you have to say. Crimson Kana's rise to Brown's division champion has been good for business, but she has become troublesome of late. Troublesome? How so? She believes that the serpent runs the arena with little concern for honor, and she's right. The problem is that she cares. Oh. Right. Well, she is a fool if she thinks something this large would not be corrupt. 
This place is not corrupt so much as open to interpretation. <laughs> oh, I like the way you phrase that. Sky would love you. Serpent and I believe that Kana needs to be stopped. We want you to replace her as the bronze champion. Hmm. Okay. Go on. It should be a simple matter to slip a slow-acting but extremely deadly poison into Kana's drink before the match. Whoa, whoa, hold on now. Are you saying that you don't think I can beat her without poisoning her? What's the catch here? I would say you would be unable to lose this match unless you were to drop dead yourself. What could be easier? When Cho approached me regarding this matter, I felt that it might be in the best interests of the Greater Guild if I were involved. Mm. If you accept, the Guild will cover half of Lin's usual fee. The remaining cost would be roughly half of your winnings from defeating Kana. Okay, well... You know, I will not dishonor myself by resorting to poison. If that is your choice, then so be it. You may deal with Kana on your own. Oh, I certainly will. I strongly advise you not to bring this up to anyone. I hope my point speaks for itself. Oh, sure, Cho. Never much believed in poisons myself. There's simpler ways to kill a man, or a woman for that matter. See? Someone gets it. Our business is concluded. It is time for you to leave. Yeah, I won't let the door hit me on the way out, Cho. Alright, so what we want to do next is we want to actually talk to Crimson Kana. Mm-hmm. Sounds good. So, I need to warn you. Lucky Cho is trying to eliminate you. Well, to be blunt, uh, he offered me the services of a poisoner. Indeed, indeed. Why have I told you this? Well, you know. Uh, I consider you a worthy opponent, and I want to make sure our match is honest. うん、うん。うん、うん。うん、うん。うん、うん。うん、うん。うん、うん。うん、うん。うん、うん。うん、うん。うん、うん。うん、うん。うん、うん。うん、うん。うん、うん。うん、うん。うん、うん。うん、う
Heavenly Wave. Well, we'll put Flawless, I guess, where Legendary, sh where the Dragon Sword is. Right? Yeah, because we have Heavenly Wave down there. We don't need Heavenly Wave in two different places. Alright. So I'll show off Thousand Cuts. I'm not going to put a point into it, though. Well, um, I want to save these points first. Let me save these points, and then if we have points later, we'll put some points in Thousand Cuts. So I'll show off Thousand Cuts in this next fight. I'm going to save first. Hey. I want to hear that you're ready for your next fight. Queen, you know the deal. What do you need? What do I need? I'm here for my next fight. Until the guild stepped in, I was ready to give you an attempt at the bronze division for your last match. Now it's time. Are you ready to face Crimson Kana, the finest sword this august arena has seen in five generations? Yes, let's begin. Excellent. Follow me and we'll get you ready for your next match. A challenger for the Bronze Division, Crimson Kana, must fend off Raging Dragon. Alright, I will not dishonor her by shooting at her. But yeah, Thousand Cuts, the thing about it is it's a fast style and it looks cool. But this is the worst thing about it, if you're ready. The power attack is so slow. All right, we need to switch to the sword. All right, so that's the thing about Thousand Cuts. Now it is, like I said, a very cool style. It's very fun to watch. It's very fun to play as with the normal attacks. And there is some advanced techniques that you can do, like do the basic first three hits of Thousand Cuts and then quickly switch to another style to cancel the rest of the animation and stuff like that. That is all possible stuff. It's just I'm not precise enough with the D-pad to accomplish such a thing. It would just be a disaster if I tried something like this. Yeah, we're going to freeze you because I want to take a moment to talk. Slow down a bit. Alright, alright. Let's see how it is. So Crimson Khan is not too tough. As you can see, she uses a pretty cool uh, dual weapon style. Just like Sky. Right? And we're gonna finish her off. Kana's winning streak has been broken at last. Yep, and it was all thanks to me. I don't know if you've heard, but Kana has proclaimed that the first fighter who extricates her from her championship will learn the secrets of her technique. Hmm, hmm. Yep, I will certainly come chat with you. Alright. You know, the crowd loved that fight. I think it was worth some extra silver, Kui, don't you? Come now. The arena works on a strictly regenerated payment system for the fights. There's no way I can give you extra. Oh, come now, Kui. You're too savvy a businessman not to reward your star performers. I'm sorry, but there's no ah. bonuses, extra payments, or gratitudes of any kind. You'll be fine with the usual winnings. Ooh, our charm just wasn't high enough. Now that that's settled, what else can I do for you? Well, I gotta go talk to, uh... Crimson Kana. There's nothing else I need from you, Kui. When you walk the streets and hear your name among the crowds, be sure that your ego does not swell like the body of eleven gaping maw, god of inopportune gluttony. Hmm. All right, let's talk to Crimson Kana. Hey. What's a warrior knock a ukra pro ni apa wafa son si yer tu yerwo? Wo wo nik fra fo wo wo sa yer kwan pa. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. All right, what will you do now? Uk yero ni sa yer tatasi yeru yu. Wo na yer si yer fu ni win yana kan. Please do, please do. Sata kwa yer ni wo sa yer sa wa yer a su yer cook. Ooh, okay. There we go. Hmm, hmm. Yes. Uh, why wouldn't you exploit that opening? Well, if we are uk sunork dan owe na waf tatasi yeruk, on we pifi. Hmm. You know, you're not the first person to tell me that. Wono weri fu yeru tarir no ka sisa yer na workur ktanti yer. Yes, others have mentioned this. Should I be concerned? 
Wosa wire noka ukra pro ni apawa fason si yer tu yerwo. Wosa yer pinir so kart a yawye. Yes, I suppose so. Tier nik puntu yer po yer noka uk so yer takitir noni. And I wish you good luck. Okay, so we got a new style, Crimson Tears. This is my favorite weapon style in the whole game. It is a dual weapon style. Um, it's essentially two butterfly swords, and I like it a lot. It's really fast. It's got good power. And where is it? Why is it not on the list? Okay, let's remap it. We're going to swap that out for uh, Dragon Sword, and we're going to put... Okay, we're going to keep Ice Shard. We're going to put... Uh, Dragon Sword. We're going to just ignore the staff, really. Unfortunately. I don't feel like uh, really using it that much. Alright, Dragon's Crimson Tears, right? So, we're going to upgrade everything here. We're going to start by boosting everything here. And then, we're going to do damage, focus, speed, everything. Uh, speed increase. Let's see, each down this drastically less focus. I'm not too concerned about focus because we have a lot of it. But speed is definitely beneficial for this. And these four points, we're going to go and we'll throw it into a thousand cuts so it's a little better. And I can show it off. Speed increase is actually not that bad of an option with thousand cuts, to be honest with you. Okay. So, we can begin the Silver Division. I'm going to save over here. Before we do that, though, I want to return to the group. That way we can sort out this Inquisitor's business. Also, let me talk to him. He has a quest they now. They say you're in good with the guild. You're allowed into the back rooms where Sweet Poison Lin runs her shop, aren't you? Yes, I am. Uh, I know you have a brilliant career to attend to here, but I have a favor to ask of you if you can spare a moment. Yes, what do you need, my friend? What's the favor you need me to do? I know you're allowed to go freely into the back room past Kui's office. Would you carry a message to someone in there for me? Sure. That sounds easy enough. I'd be happy to help. There's a merchant in the back named Sweet Poison Lin. She has connections with the guild, the real authorities in this place. I want to expand my operation, but without the guild's approval and protection, I can only take very small bets. If I made any larger transactions, they'd be quite upset. Yeah. All right. So, what would it take to get their protection? I spoke to some of the lesser guild members, and there's a set fee that must be paid to Sweet Poison Lin. It took me some time to save up the silver, but I have the fee. I just can't get back there to talk to Lin and pay her directly. If you could go in there and pay her on my behalf, I'd happily repay you. You know what? I might be able to get it. Okay. What would happen if you did go above the limit of the bets? I would never do that. I'd be shut down or worse in a heartbeat. And there's too many people who'd happily report the infraction to Sweet Poison Lin. Oh, okay, I understand. The guild rewards those who can prove that people in my position aren't playing by their rules. Alright. How would I benefit from helping you? A richer game with higher bets, of course. I'm sorry I can't offer you more, but you must admit this is a small favor. It is indeed a small favor. Alright. I'd be happy to help. I'll go talk to her. My thanks. I'm sure Sweet Poison Lin knows about my interest. I've been angling this deal for a while. Yeah, no problem, buddy. You should run back there now. The sooner you go, the sooner we can up the antes. Sounds good, my friend. Sounds good. Let's go deal with that. It's a quick little, little quest. I'll talk to you in a sec, Kui. Yeah, there's no way in here, huh? Oh, well. I wish... I'm... I wish I had known that all I had to do was beat the Bronze Division to get back here. Oh, well, my memory isn't perfect. I have a good memory most of the time, but it's not perfect. Hey. What do you need from me? I'll tell you. Let me talk to you about the gambler. Dao Shen? He has angled for a long time for our permission to run a larger game. He's honest to a fault, but he still pulls in a fair bit of cash. I was wondering if he'd be resourceful enough. One of my associates has already told him of the cost involved. Are you here to deliver his payment? Hmm, hmm. Yeah. I have the 500 silver right here. His payment? 
Good. Give it to me, and I'll send someone to go discuss the new terms of his operation. Now, back to our business, yep. yes? Yep, back to business indeed. All right. Goodbye. I'll be here when you need more of my goods. Gotcha. Let's go on out. Hey, guess what? You owe me 500 oh, silver. I had a visit from one of Sweet Poison Lin's contacts. Wow, that was quick. Fantastic news. I can up the bets. Now you can wager 10 or 25 silver on each roll. This is perfect. And I have you to thank. And it's still not enough to make thank money. Thank you again for paying the fee from your own silver. Here's your repayment and a little extra for your time. Oh, thank you. All right. You know... Keep the silver, you'll need it to cover the larger bets, and I need them open pound points. A thousand thanks to you. I promise to use your generous gift wisely. Now that we can play for larger bets, what say we set up a game? You know, I'm good, friend. I'm down 500 silver. That's enough for now. I should go. Thanks again for all your help. Be seeing you around, I hope. Yep, I'll see you around.